Everybody doing? Welcome back to That's How Podcast on YouTube. I ain't done one of these in a while. Um, every once in a while, you know, so I'll put up like a board game unboxing. I got a group of us. There's two, four, five. Normally five of us. Sometimes it's as many as six to eight to get. Try to get together at least once a month and do like a board game night. And it's kind of, you know, just put some music on the TV. Most people turn their phones. Always sit there and you know for at least a couple hours play some board games. And we start off doing like the classic shit, you know, Scrabble. Monopoly, Clue, Hungry Hungry Hippos, and we started branching out, and we have a little uh, board game fund. Everybody chips in like $5 a month, and we try to get at least one new game a month. Well, I'm the one that's got the most free time out of all of us. I'm at Dirt Cheap a lot. The other day, I was at Dirt Cheap. I had We had about $25 in the board game fund, and I called up on the people. I was like, look, everything's not, all the board games are 90% off. They're like, get us $20 worth of board games. I thought I picked out $20 worth of board games. I also got an action figure and like a comic book. The comic book was $4 with the discount. It cost more than anything I'm getting ready to show you. For about $12, I got all this stuff. So I'm just going to go through them quick. I've looked all these up. I checked Board Game Geek. All of them get decent reviews. Start off with this. Mixtape, the Song of Scenario game. It's a card game, as you see. Looks fairly simple. I have not played any of these. I like the idea behind it. And it was like 20 bucks and at 90% off, you know, $2. Two of the people in the group love Game of Thrones. So I found this. It was $2.50. Game of Thrones, Hand of the King. It's another card game. But what I love is that all the pieces are in zipper bags. So I didn't mind, you know, that's it stores a lot easier. Body Talk, a game where movement is the only language. This is kind of like charades in a way. Looks really fun. Like I said, I have not played any of these. these. I just got all these. That's why they're at my house. We actually, the people that host the board game night, we keep all the stuff at their place. Well, I haven't made it out there a little bit. This was designed by, uh, yeah, this is the one that was designed by a young girl who um, just created a board game. It's Gal Galacta Quest. Will, will you win the race to conquer space? Now, give me a second. This is going to take both hands to get this lid off this one. This one's big. But this, I mean, and this one said it was more like, Kids and then non-hardcore gamers would really enjoy. So I was like, all right, that'll work. Because sometimes we've got some people coming to play that are not really big into games. Okay, hold on. There's all the pieces. And then I remember, because when I opened this up, there's... That's all the coins and terrain and shit. I went and zip bagged them. And I was reading up on this. It's actually, board game night's becoming a big thing with, like... Honestly, the generation younger than me, <laughs> the generation after me, whatever you want to call them, I always call them the Barney generation. I've heard Generation Y, Millennial, whatever the fuck you want to call them. It's kind of like a big thing. All right, what we got next? This is one I just had. Yeah, I love the disc. Well, I don't know if they'll show up on camera. Yeah, look at that. It can't, it's a lenticular cover. Brady Bunch party game, so give me a second again. And... I think that that two, one that was two fifty was the most expensive game in this set. I think I'm not hundred percent on that. Oh come on, you ass hat. Man, give me a second. Yeah, I had to shake the fuck out of that thing to get the top off. Okay, real simple. If something's happened at the house, one player plays Alice, the rest of them play the kids, and you run around trying to snitch or help them out. And you got cousin Oliver. They even include cousin Oliver. It's a uh, there's the cards all the pieces and shit looks really fun and the reviews on it made it out to be fairly simple to play that's the only thing with this group I am uh, I almost bought it I've been wanting to play Settlers Catan for a long time it's been a long time since I played them I just want to see three day players ages nine up well there is a Settler Catan Game of Thrones edition Really want to get it and play it. It's dirt cheap. It's fairly inexpensive. It'd be like under 20 bucks. Which getting a copy of Sellers Catan for under 20 is a good deal in the first place. Just that it's a complicated game. I don't think the people are game would want to play it. This caught my eye a long time ago. Nyctophobia Vampire Encounter. I'll show you the back. You wear these blackout glasses and one player plays a vampire and helps lead you, you. You lead people through the map. I'll just show you. This is just badass. I cannot wait to play this.
There's all the pieces. There's the black. And they, they do black out everything. I tried them on. There's the cards. This just looks really wicked. And it changes each time. It's one of those modular games where it changes each time. So should be fun. Let me get that lid back on. Hey, you can see part of my floor. No, you can't. All right. What we got next? The cover of this little pretty cool. This is Forbidden Sky. Um, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one where... Hold on. Let me flip it over. You're basically trying to make a circuit board while hanging on to this, uh, well, the wind's blowing to launch this rocket. This just looks badass. Let me show you. Hold on. There's my floor again. Look at this. There's all kinds of pieces. This cool looking rocket. I can't wait. And this is another one where this is like a very expensive game. Like way more expensive than you would think. And I paid like a couple of bucks for it. All right, shut that one down. And then this last one, some I've heard of before, but not this version. Now, if you're old enough, you remember Mystery Date. A pair of the class of mystery date catfish dated individually. Listen to this for adults, two to four players. And hold on, let me open this up to you. Check this out. Let's see, there's that. But look, this is the rest of it. There's the, I have not put it together yet. There's all the pieces and the doors and all that shit. And I cannot wait. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I actually never got to play the original mystery date. I knew one or two people that had it, but we never got to play it. So that's a little, just a board game update. Uh, thank you to Board Game Geek for having all the information where I could look up this shit. Thank you to, you know, what the hell? What the hell she call it? Damn it. The wife of the person that hosts the parties is named our group and I can't think of what she calls us, but thank you to them, to the Cambrays and everybody else. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.